a really common question here at Oregon Paddle Sports is how exactly do you uh, secure your kayak to the roof of your car? Um, and I want to make it really easy and really simple for you. Um, and all of the products that I'm going to show you here today are actually made right here on site lovingly um, by our team at Whitewater Designs um, and then sold here at Oregon Paddle Sports and at OregonPaddleSports.com. In order to get your kayak on top of your car, you'll need a couple different supplies. So the first thing that you need is a set of foam blocks. These are made out of mini cell foam. They have a, a little ridge on them to hold your kayak in. And then we have a couple different sizes of channels on here. These are the wider ones uh, for crossbars that are a little bit wider. Um, you will need likely some hood loops. Uh, these are universal hood loops, so I'll show you how to use them, but you slam them into your trunk or into the hood of your car in order to secure it to the front and the back. Um, and we'll talk more about why you'd want to do that. Uh, oh, the third and final thing that you'll need is a set of cam straps. Um, so these are made out of our uh, PolyPro material. Um, they have our logo on, printed on them. We have cut the tips at a 45 degree angle and then melted it again um, so it will stay sharp throughout its lifetime and it won't be difficult to, to shove through the cam. Buckles also have uh, their size embossed directly onto the buckle so you can always tell uh, what size it is even if you have a big tangle of straps. The 10 foot and above sizes have buckle pads sewn in um, so they won't damage um, your boat um, and to use one of these, you simply shove one end, you pinch open the cam end, shove it through, and then this isn't going anywhere and can actually hold up to 2,000 pounds of force. Okay, so the first step is to actually put the foam blocks onto your car. So this car has a, a crossbar system on it, but these can actually just go directly on top of the car. I don't know if that's a forever solution because it can wiggle a little bit and can uh, damage the paint. Um, but you know, use sparingly. You you could do that. Um, so having a, a crossbar system like this is best. Um, but it can be put directly on top of the roof. Um, so you simply work this down to be over the crossbar and put this on both of them and it'll sit just like that. There's a couple different ways to get the kayak onto your car. Uh, the first and easiest way would be to have a friend help you grab either side, um, but the second way that you can do it is to actually put a blanket on your car. Um, Make sure that you're using uh, probably a, a rota molded kayak. If you have a, a really nice uh, fiberglass kayak or maybe an eddy line made of ABS, um, you might scratch it or maybe damage it, but usually a rota molded boat like this current designs uh, can handle it just fine. Um, so the first step would be to put the end of the kayak here your blanket make sure that it's secure and then you're gonna want to take the end kind of put it up like that um, this is how I do it when I'm alone when you're positioning the kayak on the top of the roof you kind of want to make sure that it's centered um, on the crossbars or on the roof. Um, and then you also wanna make sure uh, that it's straight going uh, front to back. On cars that don't have uh, factory rack systems from the manufacturer, you definitely wanna have a hood loop and a rear loop um, so they can also hold some of the weight um, and you're not going, you know, you, you have a far lower chance of the kayak flying off or, or having issues at high speeds or, or uh, when you're putting the hood loop onto your car, uh, there's a couple different ways that you could do it. 
Uh, some people like to put the hood loops on this side. I've actually found that because this car, the way that it's shaped, um, it has actually damaged the paint a little bit to put it on this side. Um, so now I put the hood loops here up front. So you simply put the, the tubing in there and slam the lid and then make sure that it has a good connection. Uh, and then in the rear of the car, you simply want to slam it to where it stays back there. Um, this car kind of has a extreme spoiler kind of situation. So sometimes I actually put it right here and that has worked better for me. So uh, you'll kind of, you know, most SUVs, you won't have a problem putting it back here um, or, you know, most standard sedan cars, this one just has Okay, so the fastest way to do this, in my opinion, there's a couple different ways that you could um, make this happen, but I like to throw this over the top of the car, and then I use the buckle pad to set it there so it doesn't damage the paint. When you come around the other side of the car, you could either throw this back over, or oftentimes it's long enough to where you can come around again over the top of the boat. Then you take this and put it on the other side of your tower. You, one side goes under and then you clip it into the cam and you pull it down. If yours ends up like this and you find yourself having to pull up you don't want to pull up. You don't have enough strength in your arm pulling up like this. So you want to back it down a little bit and then you want to take the buckle underneath the crossbar and put it into the position where you're then pulling down on it because you have a lot more strength pulling down than up. And then we'll just repeat on crossbar number two. Okay, so we throw it over, buckle on the car. We loop this underneath, we throw it over again, take, pinch it here, pull the cam buckle up, stick it through, oh, no, I got it in the wrong direction. So we're gonna pull it this way, tighten it down. So you wanna secure these down and make sure the boat isn't moving really at this point because this is the most secure connection to the boat uh, on the, the hood and trunk loops. They are not holding nearly as much weight, so you really want these to do the majority of the holding. Um, and the other straps are actually more just for emergencies. Uh, this boat only has a, a rope eyelet to hold the, uh, the stern down. Um, many boats have a, um, a metal eyelet there. This one just doesn't, so we gotta, we gotta go with what we have. So you pull it through there, and then you loop it through the end of the loop, open the cam, stick it through, and tighten this down. I would actually consider using a, a smaller, shorter strap um, and we can customize the solution for you when, when you buy it with your car, depending on how you like it. Um, and we'll deal with this, the slack in just a minute. Okay, so now we're going to loop it through the front. We're gonna go through the little eyelet up here. We wanna put a couple loops or a couple twists into the front so they, so they don't hit each other and make quite as much noise. Pull it through here, put the cam buckle at the top. Pull it down, not too tight. Um, it's really important that you don't pull this section too tight. Uh, your hood's not meant to hold this much weight um, and putting pressure on your boat going like this uh, is not going to be good. Some boat materials like ABS or composite
composite or fiberglass, um, that is actually the weakest point is pulling your bow on both ends. So you really, this is just an emergency line um, in order to ensure that if something goes wrong with your crossbars that your bow doesn't just fly off um, and you know, hurt somebody in the process or the bow. So really this is just kind of like for emergencies um, and we don't want this slack just hanging out. Um, you could daisy chain this, you could wrap it around, you could tuck it, um, but in this case, this bow has a little hatch up here that I'm gonna stick it in and lock it down. In the back, you wanna test it, it's not too tight. Uh, we're gonna put that in this hatch. The extra is gonna go in this hatch as well. Close that down. Then we're gonna make sure that the bow is nice and stable. We're actually gonna tighten these down a little bit. I like to keep the buckle right here so it's pressing onto the buckle pad. Uh, and then you're gonna deal with the ends of this as well. Um, so if you have quite a bit extra, you could daisy chain it. You can loop it through here, or in this case, I like to just pull it up where the other strap holds onto it. Just like that. Okay, so now that we have our kayak completely secured to our roof, I just wanted to do a quick little addendum. Um, this car is incredibly short, um, and most people have cars that are a lot taller, so there's no shame in needing a, a step stool to do this. Just make sure to throw it in the back of your car so when you are done paddling, you can get it off. Uh, we sell this really cool product that on some larger cars, you can stick it onto the wheel and it'll give you a, a step uh, to step on. And then some cars, you can actually open the door and stand on the sill right here and get up kind of into an angle where you're able to better maneuver the straps. Um, and get where you need to go. So you'll have to experiment with your particular vehicle. Uh, and just always remember that when you're done paddling, uh, you've used your arms for, you know, hopefully a, lot, a good portion and that kayak's gonna feel a lot heavier on the way back. Um, so just make sure that you have some solutions in place to be able to deal with that. <laughs>